I really do love the 300 Blackout Calibre. It is so versatile. It is quiet, it's gentle to shoot, packs a punch, and you can reach out. I've seen people reach out to like 600 yards with it, believe it or not. But I think it comes into its own around sort of 150 to 200 yards. But I just love the calibre. It's so much fun to shoot. I actually have a 300 Blackout Ruger American Ranch, and I absolutely love this thing. Used this in a video when I was at Double Juice Firing Range, where I first sort of got my hands on one a few years back now. Really impressed with it. Finally got one myself. But this is a separate video, but I just thought I'd show you because I actually own a 300 Blackout because I just love the calibre. But when something really Gucci comes along, I mean, that's that's a bit of a workhorse, that thing is, you know, it's, it's not sort of mega Gucci. But then when something mega Gucci like this comes along, the B&T SPR 300 Blackout, this, by the way, is kindly on loan from Oceana Defence. I get really impressed because not only does it look amazing, it really does perform well also. What an intro. Hi guys, this is Rack and Load. And like I just said, this is the B&T or Brugger and Thomet, or I think that they were known as B&T now, the SPR 300 Blackout. This is a precision short range sniper rifle in 300 blackout. And oh my God, it is so cool. What is cool about it? Well, not only the look of it, but it is fully suppressed as well. And it is as quiet as an air rifle, depending on what ammo you are using. Let me throw out some specs and then we'll sort of dig deep and I'll tell you more about this rifle. So the SPR 300, it is a chassis based rifle, pretty much. It'll accept AR-15 style magazines. I'll talk more about that in a minute. 10 round magazines that you get, they're Lancer magazines, push button mag release, M-Lock four end, uh, slots at three o'clock and nine o'clock. Okay, like that. Rail extension, as you can see, that is fitted on this particular rifle. Chambered specifically for 300 blackout, it has got a one in eight twist, which is optimized with um, or for the use of subsonic 300 blackout loads. Cold hammer forged, hanal barrel, sub MOA accuracy, suppressor over pressure vent, it also has as well. It's dual threaded uh, and it has got a 5.8 five five eight by 24 bore threading. Pistol grip, AR-15 style uh, pistol grip. Timney trigger fitted as standard. Oh, there's loads, there's loads of... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it as far as your specs go. Uh, I'm not going to wait on this thing, unfortunately. I should have weighed it. Uh, it's got a scope on. It's not heavy. It really is not heavy. Uh, I'll throw that in. There. Any specs that I've missed, I'll throw in the details down below in uh, the details of the video. So let's talk about this thing then and sort of dig deep. Now, what is this thing ideally used for? Well, it's a bit of a military one. It's it's a basically an urban sniper rifle, okay? Fully suppressed, special forces, police, that sort of thing. It's just a heavy hitting caliber. It's silent, short package here. This is a UK version, so you, I can't do it because it is pinned, but it does have a folding stock. But because this is a UK version, the stock has been pinned, so you can't fold it. But any other version, if you're in like the US or or any other country that, you know, it's got different um, laws to what the UK has, then you can fold that stock over and it makes it a real sort of short, um, rifle to stow or carry or whatever but how cool does that look guys how cool fully suppressed as you can see in the video in the footage this thing 
Well, I was chugging rounds through it. Okay, I was seriously chugging rounds through this rifle. It was getting hot. Even on quite a cool day, I was getting it hot. Yeah, I was mostly shooting. I may as well show you the ammo now. Cellular and bellet, 300 blackout ammo. Yeah, I had loads of this to sort of chug through it. I'll show you, show you around for those who aren't familiar with the 300 blackout round. So it's a small cartridge, but a hell of a bullet. Okay, so, so much fun to shoot. It seriously is. So I was chugging a lot of that through and some Hornaday subsonic um, expanding ammo. So this stuff is like the tipped ammo. Let's get you one out. I'll show you up close. Okay. Just pinging steel. Uh, with these rounds, so much fun to shoot this rifle. My God. I just love the 300 Blackout. It's so, so cool. So cool. Right. Let's take it from the top then. But first of all, I'll just tell you that it is wearing a little fold-up bipod, which is cool. That doesn't come as standard. And it's also wearing an Aimpoint Hunter red dot sight, which I thought would look quite nice on this. And this will explain the reason that I haven't done any paper accuracy with this rifle, because I was just shooting steel at mm, 60 yards, you know, just seeing how this thing ran. So I didn't really stretch it out mega distances. I was just having a bit of fun with it, to be honest. Uh, didn't really want to sort of do an accuracy test with this scope on it. It was not really appropriate for mega accuracy, but pinging the steel, great fun. I was just enjoying myself, guys, you know. Every now and again, it's not all work. You know, I can actually just have a bit of fun while I'm doing these videos. So this is the stock. Like I said, it is a folder, but not on this UK version. Adjustable cheek piece, ambidextrous, which is quite nice. You don't need any tools. I like that. All polymer. It's pretty cool. Fairly medium softness. Recoil pad there. Not that you really need it for the 300 blackout. It's such a softy to shoot, pretty much. And then moving along, I mean, like I said, that is ambidextrous. Moving along, you've got an AR-15 style pistol grip there. You could, if you wanted to, swap that out. I found it really quite nice. Just a nice, nice, comfortable grip. Uh, maybe you would swap it out for something more Gucci. I don't know, but b and pretty Gucci, to be honest. And then... Here is your safety catch, same sort of position as, you know, Remy 700, I always sort of say Remy 700 style safety catch. Does exactly what it says on the tin, nice and positive. You've got Picatinny rail all along the top and you've got this extended bit as well that has been added on uh, through the, the M-Lock uh, compatible slots here. So there's like a, a three, nine and 12 o'clock position, God, I, had think, I had to think then. <laughs> Three, 12 and nine o'clock position rails with that uh, attachment there, which is really cool. And it does look cool as well. Mag release is here. Very sort of AR-15. Uh, these are, I believe these are uh, Lancer magazines. Um, really nice, reliable magazines. I had no issues with this rifle whatsoever. Nice big bolt handle as well. Okay. So, so easy to operate. Like I said, that big long rail there. It is all aluminium. This chassis is, okay. So magnet test. Not a lot of steel on this rifle, okay. It's all aluminium, super lightweight. Really, really cool. Really lightweight. Like I said, I'll throw in the weight in the details at the bottom of the video. But where the magic happens is right up front here in this fully suppressed barrel. And my God, this I think is like a modern day uh, Lee Enfield Delisle almost. All right, it's not in a pistol calibre. Uh, that'd be cool. Maybe they should do one in a pistol calibre. So it's not like 45 ACP like a Delisle. Uh, but 
Wow, what a cool, cool rifle in the blackout. It's like I say, it's like a modern day Delisle. That that sort of thing, you know, special forces are going to lap this thing up for, you know, sneaky beaky stuff. But let's just take the suppressor off or the moderator. Oh, it takes some unscrewing, especially on camera. So let's take this off and you'll really see how short the barrel is on this little beauty. Now it is a little bit dirty. I've not really cleaned it. Oh, knocking my lights over there. So, whew, God, I can smell the, smell the carbon on that. Stop, stop rolling, stay, stay. Look how short the barrel is. Oh my God, ported there. I'm not going to touch that because I will get filthy. So, pretty decent thickness barrel, but that moderator, wow, it seriously does the job. Baffled from about there, it really does do the job well. I'm keeping this thing quiet. And that's it, pretty much. I mean, maintenance wise, you, you're going to have to take this off after you've shot this rifle, just to give it a bit of a clean up. Um, but I just love it. It does come in a hard case as well. Uh, you have to take the, um, the suppressor off to get it in the hard case. I'll show you that in a minute. But no, no problem with uh, reliability. This thing just worked and worked and worked. And like I said, I did get it hot, I had to let it cool down uh, quite often because I was having so much fun just chugging the ammo through this thing. Let's show you the other side. I'll take the bolt out in a minute. So on this side you've got, um, it's sort of laser etched into the uh, receiver there. SPR 300 blackout. Cool, ambidextrous magazine release. So you can use that from either side. There is your bolt release there. So we'll whip the bolt out and uh, we'll have a closer look at the bolt. So I'll just show you that while I've got the bolt out. Give you guys a closer look. In fact, we'll take the mag out. You can have a look down the magwell. If you can really see much there. Okay, here, here is your bolt, like I said, big bolt handle, okay, solid, three lug bolt there, and there is a loaded indicator or cocked indicator, just put the, uh, put the bolt back in, so, you can see there it's cocked. So if, if I pull the trigger, oh, I've got the safety on. That disappears. In fact, what we will do is we will give the trigger a bit of a measure, see, see what it's like. Yet again, I'm ill prepared. I've not got my trigger measure ready, but the trigger did feel really good on this uh, Little blackout rifle, this BT, it did feel very, very nice indeed. Let's just give it a pull. Let's see what she's doing. Oh, it'll help if I switch it on, I reckon. Ooh, three pounds, six ounces on the trigger pull. That is a nice trigger, single stage, I've got to remind myself. Oh yeah, that's nice, that's nice. Nice, big trigger blade there as well. Oh, let's spin it around, you might see it better like that. Nice shape trigger as well. Very cool, very cool indeed. This rifle, seriously, it has got a massive cool, cool factor. Here is the box that you get, okay? So it's just like a hard case, you know, almost like your standard sort of hard case that you get with a lot of stuff now. 
And this is what you get. Get rid of some of the junk that's in here. This is what you get in the box. Okay, so you get a BNT sling, which is very nice. You get two magazines. So there is the other one. Uh, there are some BNT, I didn't use these, but there are some BNT um, scope rings there. And then in here, I believe is a bit of a cleaning kit. So you've got cleaning rods there and all sort of bits and pieces that you that you need for sort of giving this thing a bit of a bit of a clean because it will need one. It seriously will need one um, being suppressed, but it's really, really, really quite cool. Nice, nice little cleaning kit all in there. So very, very nice. And then this is the manual. Now I've not actually had a look at this manual. Typical bloke thing, you know, just play and then read the manual later. But it's a pretty good manual with decent color pictures. Obviously all your sort of do's and don'ts. b and if you didn't know, are Swiss by the way. And the Swiss do make seriously nice. Well, anything the Swiss make is pretty nice, isn't it? You know, it's it's not crap. They don't churn out crap. Um, but all your sort of uh, how to operate the safety lever, uh, maintenance, just everything, everything you really need to know, which is really cool. Troubleshooting thing there. Are there any exploded diagrams? <gasps> oh, come on, come on. Where are the exploded diagrams? Not that it really needs one. No, there ain't any, but it just shows you like all the um, the extra bits and pieces that you can that you can get. So, cool manual. Nice that it comes in a hard case, a decent quality hard case as well. Not one of the crappy ones that you end up sort of throwing in the attic, never to be seen again. This uh, this rifle comes in a nice case. So that is a good thing. There's nothing worse than crappy plastic boxes. But no guys, very impressed with this rifle. Like I said, I, I was just having a lot of fun shooting this thing, uh, chugging through loads of ammo. Like I said, with this scope, I didn't give it a, an accuracy test as far as paper punching goes, because I was just using a red dot. So it, I, I wouldn't have, sort of done it justice and to be fair i didn't want to put a big uh, big old fd scope on it i wanted to just have a bit of fun shooting some steel with this with this round because you know the 300 blackout it's oh, it's just a seriously fun caliber to shoot it really is and on the day when i was shooting this it's quite funny i was using a lot of uh center fire rifles a lot of six five creed more so it's nice to drop down a caliber and sort of go a bit close in and just ping some steel it was it was really nice but no guys if you are after something a bit different and you like the 300 blackout caliber then this is a real call cool option now i ain't gonna lie this ain't cheap okay i don't usually give prices because it, it can go out of date but uh, you're talking about five grand for this thing what yeah you're talking about five grand for this rifle okay so it ain't cheap um but it is serious good fun <sighs> you know you can't put a price on serious good fun can you but no, guys, just thought I'd show you this, give it a bit of a review. I've chucked poor, probably 200 rounds through this. Got it hot, you know, I kind of ran it to the extreme, really. I got it that hot that you could barely touch the, um, the suppressor on it. So, and it still carried on chugging away. Uh, I had no problems with extraction no problems with the magazines, nothing. It was just 100% and that, for a gun that would cost this much, 
you kind of want anyway. But no, for more details, contact Oceana Defence. The they have kindly uh, sent this to the Rat Cave for a bit of a full medical from uh, from yours truly. But uh, yeah, real, real nice. Go on, I'm just. I don't want to give it back. It is. It is so much fun. The blackout is just so cool, isn't it? What a cool round it is. I've got to. I've got to show off the uh, the Ruger as well. Yeah, you can get the Ruger for a fraction of the price. Yeah, you can still have, you know, loads of fun with that. But <gasps> that looks a lot better, doesn't it? It looks loads better. The B and T does. It really does. A lot more badass and suppressed as well. So, uh, you know, it's, it is what it is. It is what it is. Anyway, guys, bit of a fun video, nothing too serious. Just a very fun rifle. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it at that. Thanks for watching guys. That is Rack and Load. See ya.